It may have been a controversial decision, but it seems to have worked. After a period of underperforming and poor results, coach Stephen Keshi made the decision to lower the average age of his squad, and it paid off. The national side won their first continental title last year, beating Burkina Faso 1-0 in the final. Keshi's young recruits then qualified for the World Cup as one of two unbeaten African sides. I think, um, you know, now in, in Nigeria, they want to raise like a new team with young boys. The, 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 the guys in 2002 and 1994, those were older guys. But now, even in Nigeria, they want to like raise football from the grass youth and it's like younger players in the national team. In the national team back then, you can't get a player of 20 years old, 19 years old, but now we have it. So it's, it's like from the grassroots, and that's the most important thing of all. But the World Cup poses an entirely different challenge for the Super Eagles. Nigeria are paired with Argentina, Bosnia and Herzegovina and Iran in Group F. Their goal this time around is to go where no African team has gone before. I know they've not seen African team in the semi-finals and... Nigeria wants to be that team because we've really worked hard and, and I think we're going to the World Cup to really prove to people, you understand, that, that we got the boys and I'm, I'm hoping and I'm praying that we get to the semi-finals. Real Betis star Nosa Igiebor is one of the squad's foreign-based players alongside Vincent Inyama of Lille, Chelsea's John obi Mikel, and Victor Moses who is on loan at Liverpool. He believes that being AFCON champions could act as a plus for the Super Eagles who are appearing in their fifth World Cup tournament. Being an African champion, that gives you that kind of edge and that feeling. So for me, I think we're going there knowing fully in our head that we are African champion and of course we want to prove to the world something. Keshi's men opened their World Cup account against Iran on the 16th of June before facing Bosnia and Argentina on the 21st and 25th of June respectively. Mahemutwa CCTV.